So a lot of people are talking about this Chaotica eyeball, and it works really great for a room that's untreated. And I know one person in town who's actually got one, Gerald Griffith from VoiceOver City. And I know someone really great to help test this thing out, Mara Juno. I'm Dane Reed with Mara Juno and the Chaotica eyeball. Check us out. The world's most beautiful theme park has something for everyone as you venture across Europe to enjoy thrilling rides, captivating shows, and animal encounters at Busch Gardens, a place just east of unexpected and north of unbelievable. And now, make more of your visit with a Busch Gardens two-day pass. Enjoy two full days of fun and excitement as you explore the world of Busch Gardens. Make a connection in a whole new way. Visit BuschGardens.com for details. So Mara Juno is in town. I found out when I called Gerald Griffith and I said, I've got to interview her. And for some crazy reason, she actually agreed to do the interview. So I appreciate it. Thank you for doing this interview. Hey, it's a full moon. Why not? What are you in town for? I'm actually in town for a pretty big project. Yeah? It's you want to share with us? I do. You ever heard of a guy named Tyler Perry? Once or twice. He's got a new project coming out. I can't say too much, but he's got a new project coming out. And I was fortunate enough through my awesome agent, Jeffrey Umberger, Umberger Agency. Our awesome agent, Jeffrey Umberger. Right here at ATL. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> Hooked it up, and uh, I'm going to be the announcer for this new project. Now, you live in New Orleans, Yes, correct? Greater New Orleans, about mm. an hour west of New Orleans. So this must be a really big project. This is exciting. But you're known for pretty big projects. I've done a few. Yeah, I'm one of the uh, primary voices of AT&T. Okay. If you call directory assistance, you'll hear my voice. Awesome. And uh, it's a little higher, like this. So it's the t uh, telephony stuff. A lot of telephony what is it? stuff. Telephony. Yeah. yeah, telephony. So when people call AT and T, you're one of the people that they hear. If you call for information in particular, yeah, and I say, what listing would you like? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Among okay. other things. Okay. And I what, tell you where to go what and how to get things? there. Now, I've done a pretty uh, cool interview with a guy named Dave Fanoy, and Love you have Dave you have an association with Dave Fenoy and a project that he's also worked on. Tell us about that. Yeah, a little thing uh, you may have heard of called The Walking Dead. Now, that's not a little thing. I know. That's, that's a pretty big thing. If we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I got hired by Dave's recommendation uh, through Facebook. Okay. Dave uh, said that Telltale was looking for a young actress to, to fill this role, and they were kind of scrambling to find the part. And I get a message on Facebook in the middle of the night from Dave one night, and he's just like, you know, check out this role and tell him I sent you. And I'm like, you're vouching for me, you yeah. know? And so it was crazy. And uh, 48 hours later, I had the gig. One of the first things that I ever heard from you uh, years ago was uh, a British... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> a British voice. And I had no idea um, that you weren't British. I just. Thank you. I listened to this demo and I was like, oh, wow, she's a great British actor, actress. <laughs> and then, you know, I, I'm looking at your picture and I was like, okay, you know, because I have a, I have a, I mean, it's okay. I have a brother, you know, yeah. from England, you wow. know. And so. You know, I know that there are black people in England. There are but few. then I listened to the rest of your <laughs> stuff and I was like, is she from England or is she American? Mara is simply an amazing talent. Psst. We've got great news for your winter holiday plans. Signature Vacations has slashed $10 million from our prices. That's right, $10 million. All of these years that you've been doing voiceover, where did it start? I guess it first started in radio. I started as a midday country. I started out doing country radio middays and then um, got promoted to morning show doing rock. And uh, then got promoted to do afternoons on an adult soft rock station. Okay. So at one point I was doing morning shift, midday shift, and afternoon shift. We have two different names, my real name 
and an alias, and it was very confusing. So did people know you were the same person? Some people did. Half okay. the time, I didn't know who I was. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough to give you an identity crisis. Do you, do you know who you are now? <laughs> I'm telling you. Do you know where you are what now? What time is it? It's Monday. Okay, we're good. You know, I, I know a lot of people say, you know, radio is a bad place to start if you're going to move into voiceover. But right. I really found radio to be a blessing. It taught me how to get comfortable behind a microphone. One of the biggest things that it taught me that is a huge help to this day is editing my own audio, which, as we right. know, can take Absolutely. the biggest amount of time. Absolutely. Um, you know, it helped me to learn how to read copy and, and, and just get natural with it and sound like I'm talking to one person, mm -hmm. which also generated a few stalkers, but I mean, it happens. Mm -hmm. That's why you have <laughs> fake names on radio. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it really, it really gave me a lot of great skills that I still use to this day. And yet you have to break out of some of those bad announcer habits, Absolutely. you know, but aside from that, I say radio is a great place to start. You know, and for people who don't have a radio background, you can start anywhere. You know, acting classes are a, an excellent place to start, you know, and I kind of wish I had more of the formal acting background because I really don't. I just love people. I study people. I'm obsessed with what makes people tick, and I just naturally kind of watch, you know. But, um, yeah, de never had a lot of formal acting training, so most of my background was from radio. You're so incredible on the mic. Thank you. And I know that you have to have had some kind of training. What kind of training background do you have in terms of voiceover? I talk a lot. Okay. I just like to talk. It's really a problem. Yeah? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I take that back. I've had some wonderful coaches. I train often. How often do you train? I train several times a month. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Various coaches. I train with promo coaches. I train with commercial coaches. I train with regular acting coaches. I, I train constantly. It occurred to me as I was interviewing Mara that her philosophy of constantly training was comparable to that of an athlete, whereas many people think of their talents a lot like a school student, where you go to school once, you graduate, and then you never revisit that subject again. But Mara's kind of like the LeBron James, the Michael Jordans, or any other athlete who constantly trains to get better, bigger, stronger, faster. But in all seriousness, that's how she became one of the best female talents that I know. Tell me something about yourself that like people wouldn't know just going to your website or listening to your demos or any of your work. Like, what is the hidden part behind Mara Juno? Ooh, hidden. That's deep. I don't know if I'm that deep, but I can tell you I I'm um I love cats. Yeah. I'm not quite crazy cat lady status yet. I only have two. But I have decided that if this voiceover thing doesn't work out, I'm going to be a big cat trainer. I like Siegfried, yeah, I'm totally doing it. <laughs> Maybe there's something else she can tell us interesting about what? her. <laughs> 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 How do people get in contact with you? Well, uh, the easiest way is probably just going to my website, marajuno.com, M-A-R-A-J-U-N-O-T. Marajuno. I'm Dane Reed with the crazy cat lady. Mara Juno. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube because your thumbs up keeps me coming back. Your thumbs down keep me coming back. Please also subscribe right here, somewhere around here. Right there. Right there. I'm Dane Reed with Mara Juno and the Chaotica eyeball behind us. I'm gone. Like a big cat trainer? Big cats, like bigger than this desk. Oh, wow. Gerald, what, what would you got? Throw a question at her. How does it feel to uh, actually be in an interview session with <laughs> the Dane Reed? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I thought his name was Dwayne, but... <laughs> no, it's Dane. <laughs>